snackers welcome or welcome back to the channel in case you're new here my name is Roxanne also known as by bun and I'm a mixed media artist and illustrator we've got a lot to celebrate this month because art snacks is turning five so grab your snacks blow up some balloons and let's bust open this birthday box because this is the art snacks box breakdown Welcome back to another box breakdown, the monthly video series where we take a closer look at some of the supplies and techniques found in the latest Art Snacks box. Be sure to click or tap that subscribe button to never miss a video. So as I mentioned, March is Art Snacks birthday month, hence all of the balloons. Even though they terrify me, they're behind me, aren't they? Being that it's Art Snacks birthday, it's only fitting for me to make them a card. So here's my plan for the birthday card. I've got a blank card that will act as my background. Then I'll create smaller illustrated elements that I will later cut out and collage onto it. The visual I'm going for is an art snacks box exploding with stuff. So birthday cake, streamers, art supplies, you get the idea. To start sketching my smaller elements, I'm reaching for two of my faves, the Alvin and Art Snacks Draftmatic Mechanical Pencil and Derwent Eraser. I don't have to worry too much about the placement of my sketches on this paper since I'll be cutting everything out. I'm also gonna draw more things than I think I might need just to have options later on. While I'm finishing up my sketches, let's take a moment to talk about two really fun things you're gonna find in this month's box. First up, Art Snacks is giving us a limited edition pencil case. It's got an embroidered logo, two zipper pockets, and is that fabulous Art Snacks teal color exclusive to us Art Snackers. It's made of a sturdy nylon, so the fabric and size is perfect for storing your supplies on the go. Personally, I love the double storage. I could separate my pencils from my pens or any other supplies that I want to. It's like a double rainbow, only better. The second item I wanna highlight is the super rad sticker sheet. It's got a mini logo, some supplies, a cake with a pencil as a candle, <laughs> so awesome, and even a mini Plumchester sketchbook. As a sucker for stickers, I'm hyped to have this set in my stash. Returning back to my birthday card, now that all of my sketches are complete, I'm ready to do some outlining. For this, I'm reaching for the Copic Multiliner. This is one of two Copic products you're gonna find in this month's box, and let's be honest, we all love Copic stuff. The highlight of this pen is the tiny 0.05 millimeter nib. Not only is it tough, but it's gonna give you really clean lines. The ink in this guy is also archival, waterproof, and Copic proof. More on that a little later. Now, if you've been watching the box breakdowns for a while, you know that I am a big fan of detailing with a black pen. I already know this one is going to become one of my go-tos. It's great for outlining and shading with lines, dots, and quick dashes. And it's all because of that tiny nib. of the individual elements are finished, I'm gonna add some line work to the background. I'm keeping it simple here and adding in a pattern that covers the entire card. Returning back to my illustrations, it's time to get some color in. Next up, we've got the Lyra Color Giants. These chunky colored pencils are easy to hold and easy to lay down creamy pigmented color. The thick core on these make them super durable and tougher than your average colored pencil. As a mixed media artist, this is actually one of my favorite supplies to use to scribble all over my sketchbooks and my art journals. But here I'll be using them to shade and detail my drawings, applying them as is and even blending them together at times for a darker hue. Something else you'll notice is that I'm adding a really bold red outline to all of my illustrations. While it might look a little crazy here on this paper, it will help give me some contrast later on.
Now that all of my drawings have some color, I'm ready to finish my background. For this, I'm reaching for the Copic Chow double-ended marker. There's quite a bit to love about this one. First, it's our second Copic product in the box, so you know you're getting a high quality item. It's also refillable and has replaceable nibs. Second, and what I love most, is how versatile it is. This marker is double-ended, and although I'll be using it to fill my background with a solid color, you can actually create a lot of line variation. You've got the medium broad chisel on one side, which you can adjust the position of in your hand to create line variety. Then there's the brush nib on the other side, where you can apply different pressure to create different lines. As I continue to fill in my background, I'm actually applying a second coat to darken up the color and more around the edge to create a border. Remember how I mentioned that the Copic Multiliner was Copic proof? You'll notice the black lines don't smudge or smear even with repeated coats of the Copic Chow marker. Copic on Copic, baby! With my background done, it's time now to cut out my illustrations and collage it all together onto the card. the March Art Snacks box. Happy birthday, Art Snacks. Your card is in the mail. If you're new to Art Snacks and want to subscribe, I will put a link in the description box below where you can sign up. Of course, while you're here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for future breakdowns, and follow Art Snacks on social media. Also, don't forget to keep the party going by joining Art Snacks on Facebook on March 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern for a live unboxing and Art Snacks challenge. This has been another box breakdown and I'll see you next month. Bye.